Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 8 to October 14th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that uh, this is just a, a general reading for the star sign of Sagittarius and this is not your personal reading therefore I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to align them to your personal situation and to make sense of them if you want me to do that for you well that is a, a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, one more thing uh, as this is October and October videos are uh, always uh, so all already out uh, you can check them out as well on the YouTube channel and if you find them helpful and you want to know even more about your month there is a extensive monthly tarot readings for October at the website uh, which you can purchase for just $1.49 and there you will find a, a two spreads in one video for the career specifically the career and relationship for the representative star sign so that being said we have a four positional tarot spread for the week of uh, for Sagittarius here the first position will be about the topic of the week the second position will be about the core of the situation third position reflects the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last position here it is about the guidance that Saro is offering you Sagittarius so let's see what you got here now the first one this is going to be the nine of wands and the grand scheme of things very generally the nine of wands is a card of patience and endurance or persevering through endurance now <clears throat> On the more profound level, uh, the Knight of uh, the Nine of Wands speaks for having a, a large amount of experience to a point where we can start aligning the situations around us, career or relationship-wise. So that card says that throughout the week, you know, we will have the right and somehow the uh, the ability and the power you know to exert some conscious changes especially career wise like restructuring our desk changing you know the approach towards certain projects etc etc and also the cards the, the car is kind of uh, assuring us that this is the very last toils that we have to put behind uh, behind our goal whatever the goal is and after that it seemingly everything will be set um, set and sorted out and we have to just you know wait for the results to happen now this card is also in some uh, in some tarot creeds is associated with uh, connection and under connection I mean the yearning to be connected with another being either human being or for example pet etc etc but it does rely on this constant need in the human nature to be understood to be um, empathized and um, in generally to uh, to to have the opportunity to share their good and bad fortune with someone else as well you know so they don't have to face uh, the entirety of the world um, alone and that's why throughout the week I'm saying this because throughout the week uh, you may find a, a faithful companion, someone who is going to understand you, you know, and in some cases that could be as well a person who, you know, will like you in general. But here it is, um, it is very early to speak for such a deep emotional connection as a uh, as love, but more like a uh, liking of of, uh, of interest and liking of a physical appearance, which could be, of course, a foundation, a prerequisite of embarking on an emotional interactions here with that with uh, with this person. But it is important when we do have the nine of wands, as I said, to be patient and to have. Um, strong lean if I may express myself that way to endure the very last 
events that are happening around our situations and from there um, the result will soon follow now the core of the situation uh, which expresses why this is happening is that we do have the tower card the tower card is about crisis it's about destruction it is about transformation as well these are the key words that the tower card goes by but the tower card also reflects certain insights the tower card the tower card also may manifest through a an unpleasant circumstances always has a, a positive and uh, healing effect upon the situations so that could be uh, here as a core of the situation is that you could have had an insight all right that you could do something more with your environment either relationship or career wise and right now through endurance and patience waiting for the right time to to come around you are kind of preparing yourself by making those um, a little bit of an under adaptations and changes either career or relationship wise these cards could also speak for a sudden crush that you may have upon a person that will uh, if uh, if you approach it correctly and patiently you know will answer you back with uh, kind of representative or a similar uh, similar emotional connections as well because the tower card is about a transformation as well but what the card points is that if you are prone here and if you are open-minded you know to make more of what you have to work with right now either creation uh, relationship or career wise although the process it could be a little bit stressful although the process could be a little bit painful as well all right um, <clears throat> Uh, ultimately the process will lead you toward a, a, a better field so a much vaster um, a much vaster environment for you to work for and these cards as I spoke about relationship these cards could also signify that your relationship recently broke but by you being patient and uh, being capable to endure some circumstances here and make some changes in your routine in your environment in your understanding as well uh, then that relationship could be rebuilt and under rebuilding I don't mean rebuilding the same kind of relationship but even a, a better one um, on the uh, you know upon the ruins of the previous so it's kind of like a shattered glass picking up the pieces back together you know and creating something of your personal image and then we do have the next one which is uh, the challenges which are causing predicaments and the four of wands is associated with completion of a cycle here uh, happiness as well joy etc etc so it is kind of like understandable that we do have this card next to the tower card the tower card as I said is about turmoil destruction and so on and so forth so uh, maybe this week is gonna be a little bit rough on you and you may find a very little reason here to uh, kind of experience joy not that you will not have that opportunity all right you may but you may not want to contribute in to it what I'm talking about is if we go by with the uh, breakup here all right uh, your friends could ask you to go out with them and have fun but you will not kind of be in a mood for it all right so you will have an opportunities here to kind of experience joy throughout your friends or throughout a, a faithful companions of yours but uh, you will be more occupied here by establishing you know the new environment of yours the the, the new field of uh, uh, in which you will feel you, you will have a, a more room for expansion either career wise or relationship wise this card however could manifest in a more profound level uh, four of ones for some of you which in that case uh, sig signifies that you may find it difficult to spot on a, a very important matter that needs to be addressed and if that is the manifestation for you Sagittarius then that here is putting a, a huge block on the positive development of the tower card and the positive development of uh, the conscious changes that you are to make in your um, in your fields of life so uh, when it comes to that it will be important here looking at these three cards to have um, 
believe that the best is yet to come and as well to remember that should the best to come uh, we also it will benefit us if we help it a little bit and uh, and the other standpoints as well it's not going to be something that will contribute further for your happiness and for your well-being so uh, these cards also points that you should be a little bit more uh, open to make small compromises we're not talking about the big compromises here which are accompanying the uh, the temperance card for example we're talking about these small steps back so you can show a, a content of engaging with either the situation that isn't going on very well or with the insight that you recently had or with you know the intention to recuperate back a, um, a broken relationship for example and that relationship may not be even a um, intimate one it could be just a friendship <clears throat> but what is the point of these three cards before we go to the guidance is that you can rebuild um, an area in your life uh, that you have lost recently or you are about to do it because now it is in a turmoil and you can do it so if you look that the problem does not reside outside but it resides within and I cannot say even the problem but let's say the blockage all right so the blockage is the correct term to be used here and you can kind of drop off that blockage by uh, adapting a little bit of a different standpoint and being uh, a little bit more patient and the next one, this is going to be the guidance that we do have and we said about believing that best is yet to come. This is the star card which follows um, after, right after the tower and that points that you need to believe that the turmoil is going to end and the rebuildment of this area of your life is going to give you much more, a bunch more things to look forward to. This card also advises you to show the love toward those whom you have love for. So if you love someone, do not be shy to show it, guys. If you support someone, same thing. Do not be shy to show that you stand behind them. The star card is also a, about creating big plans. So as soon as you see here that things are starting to settle down, things, you know, are start taking shapes and you do have a way to uh, rebuild back that area of your life, it is uh, where you have to adopt a, a, a long-term plan about how this development is going to happen and what are your expectations about it. But the most important thing with the star card here is that you should totally forget about the um, turmoil that you may have recently experienced and completely and entirely focused upon the brighter future because a brighter future is coming so that was the tarot reading for you Sagittarius it's now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say now they are going to show us a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid all right let's cut them let's see what we got now the first card this is going to be the home so home is about security it's about home of course and it is about family then the next card this is going to be the stork the stork is about new beginnings and it is about delivery <clears throat> and then the last one that will be the ship the ship is about traveling the ship is about adventure the ship is about as well risk all right so, uh, to be honest, these are a little bit of a messy cards to be made much sense of here. Uh, and I believe that this is because, you know, every Sagittarius, it, it's a very uh, dynamic environment for the Sagittarius. And I cannot say it otherwise, because we do have the tower, especially as the roots, and the tower is very dynamic card. So uh, there will be something about your security and your home with here being delivered from afar or from a, a necessary risk that has to be taken. But as we do have the stork, that will lean more toward the positive and a more practical meaning of these cards is that someone of your family will return back home. So if you are expecting, let's say, a child of yours to come back home or a cousin or someone from your family, that very it is very likely to happen at this specific week, October 8th to October 14th 
2018 but it is very important here guys to uh, kind of focus more upon your uh, when we're talking about the Lenormand reading to uh, focus more upon your home this uh, this week and upon your security which which things are making you secure rely on them and step on them and you should have no problem to rebuild that area which you are finding right now in as a turmoil so that being said this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading sagittarius for october 8 to october 14 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was a general reading for sagittarius star sign and this was not your personal reading guys therefore i did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you, uh, then this is a matter of personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.